Hi, I'm Peter Kamström of Kamström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'm going to talk about OneNote. Each of the team sites that you have or you create in SharePoint Online and Office 365 also comes with a notebook. So here I am in the sales department site and to edit this notebook, which is physically stored here under site contents and site assets, you'll notice that there's the sales notebook by default and it's created at the same time that you create the team site. You simply go into the notebook and you're right into edit mode in OneNote Online. You can of course also open it in OneNote, but this um, editor is quite good. So you can add new pages, you can just start typing the heading, and then just add pictures, tables, online pictures, all kinds of things. And of course, copy paste works beautifully here and there too. One thing that you might want to check out also is the one in notebooks thing link you have there. That is all of your notebooks that you've been working on. So you have the Peter at work and then the sales notebook. You will find if you also go in here under the one in note online, that takes you to the same place. So there you can have your notebook for your work things. So for each team site, you get a notebook. And of course, you can also create new notebooks if you want to do so. If you go into sales, if you have different categories that you want to have several notebooks, you can do that too. You can add them either here in documents by clicking new and uh, one note notebook, then you'll get a new. So you have the sales drive, for example. So if your users are used to, you know, working in one note, then you can certainly share one note files in SharePoint also. If you don't want your information in OneNote files, you can disable this functionality, uh, at least partially. You can go in and edit the links, remove the notebook link, of course, and you can, of course, also go into the site contents, site assets, and remove the sales notebook that you had there by default. But it's uh, much more difficult and probably rather impossible to remove the functionality of OneNote altogether because you can certainly create new OneNote notebooks there. So that concludes my few comments about OneNote. Thank you for watching this demonstration.